Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these two identical uh, blue rectangles, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of uh, each of these uh, rectangles is uh, 2 times square root of 3 centimeter square. And moreover, this uh, yellow quadrilateral is conceived by connecting uh, these points A, C, P, and uh, Q. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on these two rectangles. Let me go ahead and label their sides. Let me call uh, this uh, side length uh, AB of this rectangle as A and its uh, width as uh, lowercase uh, b. Likewise, then this uh, width is going to be b as well. And this side is going to be a. And since we are dealing with these uh, rectangles, so therefore, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. If this side length is b, then this side length uh, has got to be b as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and focus on the blue rectangle area. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length times width. In our case, the length is A and the width is B for this blue rectangle. So therefore, the blue rectangle area could be written as A times B. But we have already been given the area of this blue rectangle as 2 times square root of 3. So therefore, I'm going to replace this part by 2 times the square root of 3. So therefore, we conclude that A times B equals to 2 times the square root of 3. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 1. And here in this next step, we have drawn these auxiliary lines P, D and Q, D as you can see over here. And as a result, we have got uh, this uh, big uh, rectangle uh, A, B, C, D. And since we are dealing with these all uh, rectangles, so therefore, uh, this side length is going to be equal to this side length. Uh, and this is going to be equal to this uh, side length. If this side length uh, is uh, A, then this uh, side length uh, has got to be A as well. And likewise, if this uh, side length uh, is uh, A, then this side length uh, has got to be A as well. But we know that this uh, side length uh, is B. So therefore, this side length uh, DQ is going to be A minus B. And moreover, these angles are 90 degrees since we are dealing with these rectangles. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that this yellow shaded area equals to the area of this bigger rectangle A, B, C, D minus the area of this right triangle A, B, C and minus the area of this uh, right triangle uh, PDQ as well. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, ABCD, the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC, and the area of the triangle uh, PDQ as well. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of uh, this uh, big rectangle uh, a, B, C, D. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area of rectangle equals to length times width. So therefore, the length of this rectangle A, B, C, D is going to be this combined length A plus B. So I can write this one as A plus B. And the width is simply A. So therefore, the area of this rectangle A, B, C, D is going to be a times A plus B. Now let's go ahead and distribute. So that is going to give us A square plus 
a times b so the rectangle a b c d area turns out to be a square plus a b and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right triangle a b c and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half time base times a height and in our case our base is a plus b and our height is a so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the area of this right triangle abc is going to be a half times a times a plus b now let's go ahead and distribute and we are going to get a square divided by 2 plus a b divided by 2 as well so therefore the area of this triangle a b c turns out to be a square divided by 2 plus a b divided by 2 and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this another right triangle p d q whose base is a and whose height is a minus b so therefore the area of this right triangle p d q equals to a half times a times a minus b and now let's go ahead and distribute so therefore we are going to get a square divided by 2 minus a b divided by 2 so therefore the area of this triangle p d q turns out to be a square divided by 2 minus a b divided by 2 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shade region by just plugging in uh, these uh, values that we have already calculated them so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area of this rectangle a b c d is uh, a square plus uh, a b minus uh, the area of this triangle a b c is uh, a square divided by 2 plus uh, a b divided by 2 minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle p d q is uh, this one a square divided by 2 minus uh, a b divided by 2 now let's go ahead and open up these brackets uh, by distributing these uh, negative uh, signs over here as you can see in this uh, next step now we can see this negative uh, a b divided by 2 and then positive uh, a b divided by 2 they are gone and now let's focus uh, on this uh, part and here i have copied it down and if we simplify this one uh, we are ended up with the negative uh, a square so therefore i'm going to replace this uh, whole thing by negative uh, a square as you can see in this uh, next step and we can see this a square and minus a square they are gone so therefore the yellow shaded area turns out to be simply a times b but we know from this equation one a times b equals to two times square root of three so therefore i can write i can replace this a b by two times square root of three so thus the area of this uh, yellow shaded region turns out to be two times square root of three centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye